Human IK is the awesome facility with Amaya to connect motion characters with other motion characters. So you can have a character in motion and apply that motion to another character. It's also great at being able to do inverse kinematics, which means being able to make your hand wave so simply with the character. Now this character has no skeleton in it, and I made sure that all of its connections were broken, which might happen if you see any of these being read up here, such as this key. You can either delete that key, right click, delete. But sometimes you'll see a gray spot up there as well, meaning that the input is bound to something else. So you would just right click and break connection like this, and then you're ready to get started with your character. I'm going to export this character. File export selection, choose an FBX file, and it's going to be called character5. I'm going to place this in the assets folder. Let me go up one right there to the assets folder and click on export selection. Going to Mixamo characters and I'm just taking this step to build a bone system inside. Other videos will cover building bones later on. Here I want a skeleton structure. And so you can have built a whole character, but then when it comes time to apply motions, you need a rig on the inside. Go to Mixmo and click on Upload a Character. Drag my character into here. And this character has no bones, unlike previous characters, like the Ready Player Me characters, the one Mixmo that do have joints in it. Now Mixmo will be used to create a bone system on the inside. And to do that, you click the Next button after your character loads. And you just take these circles and place them where they belong. This one goes on the chin. That was the wrist. Elbows. Knees. And center of mass right there. And here's the instructions to follow. Take the defaults and just click on Next. And when it's all done, you'll see a preview of your character. This character didn't have any texture, textures on it. I'm just focusing in on getting this character to the human IK. I'll click on Next, Next again. Now you're all ready to apply different motions to your character. The focus of this, though, is to use the human IK within Maya. So I'm going to click on Download, and I'm downloading this in the T pose. Download. After it's downloaded, I'm going to make a new scene. And before I get into just importing my character, a real brief introduction. Human IK is a tab that you'll find over here. If you don't see that tab, you'll go under Windows, Animation Editors, Human IK, which also brings up that tab. If you click on Create Skeleton, you'll get this generic skeleton that you can then shape and fit into your character. If you, if you set the skeleton the way it is, I'll show you what the... Human IK will ultimately do by going under the control rig for the Human IK and just wait a moment. Now you're given these controllers around your character that if you select a controller and you move that controller, it will move the skeleton. And so from here, you could imagine doing walk cycles or kicks or dances. You can make your character bend down such as like this and bend down this way and this way. So it's going to be a fun way to control the mesh of your character by applying human IK on joint system attached to your character. Let me just do a new scene. With all that said, next step is to import your character again. And this character is different than the initial one that left Maya because this character was processed through Mixmo, so its skeleton aligns with Mixmo. That means you can apply motion clips to the skeleton, as shown in a different video. If I want to see the joints, if go under Shading X-Ray Joints, what you use Mixmo for was to create this joint system, automatic rigging of a character. You can look that up on the web, automatic rigging. You'll come across a few sites that could do it. Mixmo is one of those sites. I need a way to relate this character, which is a Mixmo character, with, with a Mixmo naming convention of bones. Holding down the plus key, you can see all the bones here. I need a way to relate this character to Maya's system, and we'll do that in a second. Right now, you can see it's rigged up. I could use regular kinematics to move my character, which means just selecting a bone and moving it and animating across time, but that's not very efficient or fun. Instead, go to the human IK, 
click on click create character definition and since this is processed through, through Mixmo many characters on the web or in software are compatible with human IK and the quick way to find out if it's compatible or not select the bone click on this folder icon right there and and leave human IK HIK selected as a template click OK. If everything shows up as green, or even if one, one thing is yellow or two, that's OK. Got a green check mark, or a little yellow warning sign. As long as it's not red, everything's good to go. When I mean good to go, now all you have to do is select here and go to Control Rig. Wait a moment. And there's the Control Rig. And now, just like with the skeleton, you could select the controller, and you could make your character's arms relax a little bit like this. I'll extend the timeline, 60 frames. I'll press the S key to record my first keyframe. I'm gonna turn off automatic keyframing. Now you can make your character lift its hands up by selecting that controller right there, or you can select it here, and that's the convenience of human IK. You can select it on this little mannequin or in the viewport, and just raise its hand, or maybe it's extending its hand outward to Shake some other character's hand. Press the S key, and there's a motion. If you want to tweak this motion like it's a little too mechanical, in between these two keys, you can go back and just reposition that key, S key again. So now it's bending and stretching. Maybe instead of shaking hand, it was actually about to pick something up. So selecting up here, and I have the partial body mode selected. And I'll show the difference in a moment. Select it right here, and the character could look down. That's the animation we're going to go for. Press the S key at this frame, move forward in time. Say by frame 10, the character is looking down to pick something up on the floor that dropped. S key. Huh? What's down there? So you can have a lot of fun with this. Now, partial body mode, you can see, terminates the motion. If I have full body mode on, when my character reaches down, let's say by frame 15, and then I'm going to drag this character down to the floor to pick up whatever. S key. Let me lift up my character at frame 0. S key again. Now this is the motion where it's really kneeling down. And you can see just within a couple of minutes, you'll have a lot of control of your character. Oh, it went askew aside. No problem. By this frame, let me just move my character this way. S key. Hmm, very um, artistic there. Rotating it here and let me rotate this joint here. Make it stand up. There we go. If you want your arm to not be colliding with the body, go back in the move tool. Just pull a little bit. You can switch to partial body mode to make sure you don't accidentally drag that character. S key again. Right here, I have to correct it. S key. I'm going to select these keys and just, just delete them. And now I'll put in a new key. So I deleted keys by selecting a region, right click, delete. And now you're free to put in a new key, S key. And that's how you could toggle in between full body and partial body modes. Partial body is good when you want that motion to terminate. Full body is awesome when you're trying to reach or grab something that will make the body come along for the ride to the extremes. And I don't want that. What if you were not so lucky and you're character wasn't relatable to the human IK. It's no big deal to connect it to the human IK. Just takes three minutes, four minutes of your time. So here's my character again, and if I shade x-ray joints, here's my joint system. And this time, under Create Character Definition, instead of just clicking this folder, which works out very well most of the time, you'll do it manually, selecting this upper arm, right-clicking, 
on this upper arm and assign select the bone. You can see it does it parallel. So within a few minutes, you can work your way down the hierarchy. When you need to do the fingers, you click that one. And I'm not going to do all the fingers. But you would select, let's say, a finger joint here, assign. And I'll just do this on the topmost level finger joints. Assign. I'm cheating by not assigning everything, but it's OK not to assign everything. Next finger, assign. And the last one, assign. And go back to the top level. Now that you've finished both arms, select the middle of the character, assign. Next joint up, right there, assign. And click here to expose the spine, assign. Go back up to the leg, that leg to this leg, this leg to this leg, foot to foot. There is a toe joint, which will make your character's foot bend a little bit. So you can select it to, you can assign it to that middle joint there. And let's not forget the neck and head. Head is easy from there to there. This is the neck. Click this little triangle to neck view, base of the neck, and you're all done. Everything is green check marked. So you're good to go. The last step is just to try it out. Go to your source and select control rig. And there's your control rig. And just like before, where we skipped the step by importing the character definition with that folder, you see that the character is ready to animate with you. Let me hit an undo a few times. Now, a bonus of all this, you create the skeleton through Mixamo. If instead of the control rig, you click on none and you go to Mixamo and download, let's say, a motion for Mixamo as a dance, such as a dance like this, make sure when you download it to do it without the skin because we already have a skinned character within the scene. Go back to Maya, select your character, go to Windows Animation Editors, Time Editor, click on this button to pull this character into the time editor. So the little folder icon with the plus sign. And here's our character doing nothing. Drag the motion clip, download it from Mixamo into the scene. I'm going to delete this animation on the character, which was doing nothing. I'm going to zoom out of the timeline. Right now, I'm on a frame. Option key, middle mouse button, and use the wheel to zoom out. Option, middle mouse button, or alt, middle mouse button, pan. Now the character's dancing. To get this motion onto this character and then use the human IK to control the character, which was just set up, select this clip and go to bake and select bake, bake to scene. Now you can delete this clip. And your character knows how to dance within the scene without the time editor. Because all those keys from the time editor, from that motion, was baked back onto this character. So you use the time editor to blend up motion. If you go under this big button and select bake, bake skeleton to control. I know it's off the screen. Can't help that. Sorry. But if you bake, second option, it, first option is bake skeleton, bake to control rig. Just wait a moment. All those keys from the timeline are being baked onto the control rig. And as soon as the timeline finishes, you'll see your control rig there. So after the character stops doing its dance, like around here, I'm going to extend my timeline to 500 frames. Maybe I'll select that controller right there, and the character will take a bow. Click here, and go to the human IK, go to partial body mode, and just make the character take a small bow, S key, 
and S key again to, let me rotate my character the other way, up. And I'm gonna put my character's arms at the side. So this is showing how you could use a motion clip and then do additional motions with the human IK and the control rig. Putting my arms down for the character. There we go. And there we go, because the character is very humbled. All of your applause. Ready? And dance, 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 dance. And thank you for watching this video.